justify not allowing people who are homosexual to get Woo! that question uh, repeatedly, I'll just answer it this way, uh, that I believe that marriage is a privilege, it is not a right, not anybody or anything can get married. It's a privilege given to society, there are certain benefits that come from it. And society has a, a right to collectively decide what they believe marriage is. And historically, as we know, for many, many years, uh, and throughout centuries and millennia, Marriage has been defined between a man and a woman for a reason. Yeah. That, society that, decided that women yes. and men come together for the purposes of bonding together to form a family, to have children, and to rear those children, which is what their birthright is. And every child has a right. I believe this. Every child has a right to know his mom and dad and to be raised by his mom and dad. That's what's a right. Now, we shouldn't have... We should, that doesn't mean that every child gets that right. Obviously, there are lots of situations where children don't get that, and it's unfortunate. But we don't see that as necessarily a good thing. We see it as a good thing for the mothers and fathers to raise their own children as a positive thing, and as a result, we give special status to that relationship. Because we know how intrinsically important it is for society to have these relationships. There are a lot of other very important relationships in society. Friendships loving relationships between relatives and, and, uh, and even friends. But you know what? Those relationships are not given this privileged status because while they're important and they should be valued and honored, they are not, do not provide the intrinsic good for the benefit and the future of society that marriage does, and that's why we granted it a special so, Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! We decided! About marriage, about marriage with democracy. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%.